It's Dr. Keith Ablo with another pain to power video. Uh, this one asks a question right out of the gate. Uh, why would someone marry the same kind of, well, let's say man three times? Same person, basically. And the answer to that question uh, is because we have patterns in our lives that we reproduce again and again and again. And we think we're making different choices, but then we look back in our lives and we're like, wait a second, that was the same decision that I made again and again and again. Why does that happen? It happens because we've got inside us these patterns. They're essentially, if you want to think of them as grooves in your mind that you keep traveling again and again and again, they're made up of maps from what you lived through as a younger person, childhood, adolescence, young adulthood, traumas you suffered, so that the kinds of relationships you engage in are almost predestined. That's where free will isn't quite so free because until you see what those patterns are, what those grooves that you're traveling in really are, you can't decide to deviate from them and make much better choices in your life. That's what pain to power is all about, by the way. It's about identifying. That's part of what it's about is about identifying what are these grooves I've been traveling in? How do I exit them. And by the way, if you think about like a car exiting grooves on a road, it's going to take a decision and it may feel bumpy doing it, by the way, because it's not second nature to you. But second nature to a lot of us is self-defeating. We have to actually make a decision to turn to a different road, take a different path in order to improve the outcome. And it may not feel like, oh yeah, like that's a reflex for me. Well, guess what? A reflex for one person may be, yeah, it feels really good and automatic for me to marry the same kind of dismissive guy again and again and again. Why? Who knows? Maybe, you know, you weren't listened to as a kid. Uh, maybe all kinds of things. Maybe it's what you saw in your parents' marriage. We don't want to look at these things. And so we reproduce them. But if you're willing to just bear a little bit of the pain, which I can help you to do, guide you to see what are these patterns? What are the grooves you've been traveling in? How do you get out of them? Then you are free to make much better decisions going forward. Uh, it's a hint that I'm giving you here. Uh, that's the work we can do together. Um, you can also look at the book Living the Truth, which uh, I wrote that can take you further down the um, path of trying to understand how to change things for the better. Um, but that's something to consider. The repetition compulsion that we show in our lives is what we have to interrupt in order to make better decisions and go different places. But don't expect it to feel good initially. It doesn't necessarily feel good initially because it's new, it's different. And things that are new and different, it's like moving in a different way. Uh, you deserve those new ways of moving, those new decisions, those better choices, because your story matters. It really does.